Hey there guys, it's Lee here, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to mine Bitcore using your Nvidia graphics card. So on screen you can see this is the actual Bitcore miner, so it's a modified version of CC miner. Um, I'll provide a link in the actual description and I'll show you how to get set up uh, with this miner. So on this particular machine I have a GTX uh, 970 and that's what I'm using to mine. You can see that I'm getting just over 9,000 kilo hashes uh, which is in simpler terms that's uh, between 9 to 9.5 9 uh, mega hashes per second. So that's the actual miner wearing away there. So if we go to the actual Bitcore thread, so this is the thread on Bitcoin Talk. Um, as always I'll put a link in the actual description so you can get started with everything and find um, everything that you need. So the actual uh, link should be for the miners. Is uh, using this link here. I'll provide these links for you to use um, in any case. Um, so the pool that I'm actually using is the Supernova pool. Um, if you've used any of the Supernova pools in the past, you can just um, basically get started on Supernova just using your name, same login details. Um, so it's like a universal kind of login, so that's why I quite like using the Supernova pools. I'll just uh, tab over to that. So you can see that the actual hash rate is recording slightly less than what I was actually getting at the actual miner. It's been about 24 hours and so far I've earned 0.75 coins. Um, as a monetary amount, that's roughly about $1.85. So that's for 24 hours uh, mining approximately. So on a sort of comparative basis, I'd say that probably is a slightly little bit less, about 20% less than mining Ethereum currently. Um, I couldn't really tell you the actual power usage at the moment. I don't have a watt meter, but the power usage is probably about the same um, as Ethereum. So with this coin, if you are mining it, it might be a little bit less uh, profit to start off with. Um, but if the actual price increases, then you should be making quite a good profit with this coin. At the moment, the price is um, a little bit depressed uh, based on um, you know previous sort of uh, history. Um, it is quite a new coin, so potentially it has got um, you know the potential to sort of uh, go on from here. Um, but anyway, losing our track a little bit there. So let's get back on track where we are. So the miner that I'm using is this CC miner. I'll put a link in the description and you can download it. Once you've actually downloaded it, you'll get a, I'll also include a batch file for you guys to use. Um, I will include my batch file so you can basically copy, copy me. And I'll show you what's inside the actual batch file itself. So if you click on, right click and go to edit, I'll just break down different components for you. And the top part actually is not really relevant. You can just remove that. Okay, so the first part is the call to the actual miner itself. It's ccminer.exe. This part is the actual algorithm that the miner is using. So it's actually using the time travel algorithm. And then this part we've got is our pool details. So it's connecting to btx.supernova.cc and this is the pool. The last part is our username. So it's risky fire. And then we've got a dot or period. And then the second part is actually our worker name. So if you've not used Supernova before, once you log in, you need to add a new worker and that worker name can be anything you like. It's just a nickname for your own reference. And then you would, you would add that worker name here. So it could be worker one, two, three, or whatever nickname you choose. Um, this last part is a password. You can set a password for your workers, but there's not really any great deal to have um, security on there. So for most people, you just put the password as X. Um, and on the bottom line, I've just added pools because that helps keep the window open um, if the miner crashes or it encounters um, any problems. Uh, I'll save that. Uh, one other important thing to note, this miner is a CUDA 8 miner. So what that means is that your hardware needs to support CUDA 8, but most people, uh, one of the things that you'll find is that it, you, you will need to update your drivers. So if I just open up the MSI Afterburner, so the current drivers that I'm using are 382.05. If you use any older drivers, and I'm talking the ones that give you the best performance with uh, Ethereum, you'll most find, likely find that those drivers will not support CUDA 8. They will most likely support CUDA 6 or CUDA 7. Um, so you won't be able to use this miner. So you must use the most updated uh, drivers um, that support this version of uh, this miner and CUDA 8. So 
that's that set up. So I think that's the, the basics kind of covered. Oh, one other point is if you on your Supernova pool, where you've got your account balance, um, if you go to your account settings, you can actually add in your Bitcore address. Um, so do that to receive your um, payouts. Um, I believe they pay out at one coin, um, but you can change it to automatically pay out for less, or you can do like a manual payment um, as well as. So if I go back to the actual downloads folder, and then we'll just start up that miner again. I could just show you what that looks like. So you can see the start up there. So it's detected our graphics cards and it basically starts mining straight away. What you should see is that as time progresses, you should see more and more accepted shares. Accepted shares are basically your workload, which you're sending back to the pool and it's being uh, reported properly. So you can see it's a little bit faster this time 9.7 mega hashes and that's all uh, looking fine obviously that's going to go back to the pool and everything's going to be good that should start picking up uh, from that point onwards so that pretty much covers all the basics for this video if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to ask and i'll be happy to help you guys out with those in the comments so that's it for this one thank you very much for watching Hopefully you liked it. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Obviously, I put videos like this out all the time and it would be great to have you as part of our little community. I'll keep you updated with upcoming videos, new coins and all that kind of stuff. Till next one, guys. Take care.